last weekend. That is a house as it is moving down the floodwaters. Hundreds of other buildings in the country were damaged by this flooding. Now, the country has a flood warning system, and it says it operated like it was supposed to, but it could not handle so much rain in such a short period of time. And in South Montgomery County, we want to update you on what has turned into quite the fix-it plan. Now, this is Cranes Run Road. Severe weather and rain washed out the ground next to the road last month. You see right here from our video, there's about a four-foot drop-off, and that's a better image for you. Miami Township leaders told WHIO today they plan to put piers almost 40 feet into the ground. What that will do is create about 120 feet uh, worth of retaining wall along the hill in hopes of reinforcing the road. The township said this is going to cost about $300,000. It expects to start that work next month and finish up in September. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. We didn't have any severe weather today, yeah. but at least to me, because I was being away, but felt like <laughs> severe heat. Yeah. Is that the, muggy? Yeah, a little bit muggy, especially in comparison to yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now, I do see a little relief in the mugginess for the next couple of days, but it rears right back up for the weekend. So. Of course it does. Yes, <laughs> it, but it's that time of year, and I guess now is a good time roll call. Who's ready for fall? Yes. I'm not yet yes, ready. Because because about three weeks the one that was just complaining. Uh, yeah, the right. Well, here's the thing. I complain about a lot of things. Um, and fall is lovely. The problem with fall, though, is I, I start to get anxious because then winter's coming. Well, but we're just that much closer to yeah, spring. Yeah, exactly. That's the glass That's, that's, that's looking too far ahead. <laughs> that's <laughs> the glass <laughs> half These guys, right? I have to live in the moment, particularly when there's not humidity. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow and the next day, live in the moment. Right. Because this weekend's going to be muggy. Let's get to that forecast right now. Look outside. All is quiet here in the Dayton area and across the the Miami Valley. Line Doppler 7 radar scans the skies. No precipitation to track. We have high pressure that's in control of our forecast right now and will continue to be in control of our forecast for the next few days. There is a weak little front that slides through tomorrow that tries to give us a couple of light sprinkles, but for most of us, we'll have to wait until Friday, Saturday, or Sunday to get that next chance for rain and storms. And it's good that we're getting some dry weather because we are well above average for the amount of rain we should have in July. Temperatures right now still quite warm. We're at 70 for you out in Sydney, 66 in Greenville, 70 degrees right now in Winchester. As we move through the night, these numbers will continue to drop back into and through the 60s. And we wake up tomorrow morning right around 63 or 64 degrees. So here's a snapshot of that humidity trend I was just telling you about. Wednesday and Thursday, dew points will be down into the 50s or low 60s. So it'll feel much more comfortable for this time of year. Well, highs slightly below average as well. Not chilly or cool, but not as high as they typically would be. Then on Friday, humidity builds and we'll see muggy conditions settling in for the weekend along with warmer temperatures. That creates instability in the atmosphere and allows for some showers and storms to really begin to fire off. Out the door tomorrow morning, though, we're dry. It is a mild start to the day. As we head into the afternoon hours, we warm up. So water bottle, sunglasses, t-shirt, short weather for us tomorrow. This is how it breaks down for the afternoon. 73 at lunchtime, 78 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I expect our high to be at around 80 degrees. A lot of us will stay in the 70s all day long. That's about 5 degrees cooler than average. And then we drop back into the 70s tomorrow evening. Now, while it's a little bit cooler than average, it's still nice pool weather, especially for the afternoon tomorrow. We'll have plenty of sunshine. Um, as we move into the next couple of days, we will see dry conditions again on Thursday. And then Friday, we bring in some rain and thunderstorm chances. That is going to be primarily for your Friday afternoon. So our rain chances increase a bit as we head into the weekend. Not a washout for Friday and Saturday. Right now, it looks like Sunday may be our best opportunity for those showers and storms. So here's Futurecast for tomorrow. A weak little disturbance comes through. A couple of sprinkles might be around in the morning. May try to redevelop to the south into the afternoon. Then as we get into Thursday, we get a little bit more of the wave cloud cover early. More sunshine for the afternoon. Then comes Friday as we head toward the second half of the day. That's when we see some scattered showers and thunderstorms moving in. As I mentioned, we'll be the wettest part of the work week. And then we have a few more showers and storms over the weekend. Temperatures rising to the upper 80s this weekend means we have heat index values, especially Saturday and Sunday, around 90 degrees, if not in the low 90s. So comfortable weather the next couple of days. Heat and humidity and the threat for storms return by the weekend. Unbelievable, something I never think I'd get a chance to do again. Former Flyers playing for a chance to return to UD Arena. Even William Williams.
box. But Alumni told us it'll take to win the basketball tournament.